I was making a video on my 3D printer and how useful it is to me and the different things that I have made on it. And I found that one of the themes was I make a lot of foundry patterns with it. So I thought I'd make a separate video for people who are really just interested in that. And so this contains all, or not all, this contains quite a few of the foundry patterns and the projects that I've made from those foundry patterns on my 3D printer. If you're interested in a 3D printer, I'll put a link to the one that I use in the description. And then um, I'll try to list, uh, put a link to the STL files that I used to make most of these items. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna move fast. This is my oxalic acid vaporizer I use for bees. And I 3D printed the box for it. And I 3D printed the pattern uh, for making the actual burner. There's the pattern. I changed out to a hand wheel on my hydraulic press. Here's the pattern. This is my dust collector motor and I needed an adapter. You can see it there, that aluminum piece to adapt it to PVC pipe so that I could run it out. I just blow it out the back of the shop. I made the pattern and then I poured that in aluminum. These are the flasks that I use for pouring aluminum. I made the patterns for pouring these. There's one of them. I made the pattern that allowed me to pour these in aluminum, the outer red part. Here's the pattern. This is a smoke generator that I use for my smoker. I made a pattern and then poured this in aluminum and this cap. These are the patterns. That's the pattern for the bottom and the pattern for the top. I made the pattern for this hand wheel on my sawmill that helps me uh, raise and lower it. This was the pattern. I used it to make the pattern for not only the handle for this, but also the mold that you use for re-pouring the lead head on it when it gets all beat up. This one's about time for uh, it to be recast. You just melt it off, stick this in there, and pour you a new one. A pattern to pour soft jaws for the vise. Well, I hope that was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.